Hey guys, it's time to do the test that you all were waiting for. The Oreo Galaxy Note 8 goes one on one against the Nougat one. So it's time to find out the actual speed gains with the Android 8.0 Oreo. Now before I begin this test, I want you to know that this is the Qualcomm variant of the Galaxy Note 8 going up against the Exynos. Uh, so that is also a difference there with the chipset. So if you wanted to see which node is faster, then this video is also giving you an answer for that. And yeah, with that being said, uh, the Galaxy Note 8 Oreo is on the left while the Nougat one is on the right. So uh, just so you know, so that you don't get confused, it's time to boot both of these two phones up at the same time. Here we go. And okay, I pressed at the same time, but the Note 8 logo came first on the Oreo Galaxy Note 8. Uh, okay, the new good one moved faster to the Samsung logo. Interesting. Which is going to be the actual winner in this boot up test? Let's see. Uh, okay, so the Galaxy Note 8 with Android 8.0 Oreo beats the new good Galaxy Note 8. Uh, same thing happened with the Galaxy S8 Oreo. It was faster than the S8 Nougat. So definitely there is a lot of improvement under the hood with the softer and it is much more optimized compared to the Nougat. This boot up time was also faster than the iPhone 10. So I uh, will be comparing it to more phones to see if it really is the fastest. So, so again, Android 8.0 Oreo on the left and the Nougat Galaxy Note 8 on the right. So everything is closed up in the background and let's start off with the first application which is going to to be uh, the phone dollar so here we go and as you can see that was about the same on both phones and you can also notice that pretty much there is no uh, visual difference between uh, the colors or you know UI look uh, you know, Nougat versus Oreo. This time is all about the internal performance gains. Moving on to the settings so let's uh, go at the same time and okay that was pretty close. I think a draw, maybe this one was just a tiny bit quicker. Enough with a warm up. I'm gonna start off with Subway Surfer first. So here we go. And open up at the same time on both phones. Okay, so the Oreo Galaxy noted faster there. And the new good one, it took about like a little bit delay there, but it was right behind it. SoundCloud, faster on the Oreo Galaxy Note 8. Snapchat, about the same. Pin out. Another game. Okay, so clearly the Oreo Galaxy Note 8 faster there. I have to say the performance gains are uh, a lot more compared to what we have seen with the Galaxy S8 Oreo. So let's launch Spotify and Galaxy Note 8 Oreo faster again. We're going to move towards another game, which is going to be the Smash Hit. Okay, let's go. And... Okay, so I actually thought that the Nougat Note 8 would be faster, but it was pretty much the same. Moving on to Alto Game. So this is also uh, one of my favorite games that I play on my phones. And uh, as you can see, it is clearly faster on the Oreo Galaxy Note 8. So um, I have to say this is the best software update for your Galaxy Note 8. I mean, this is right now, this is not even the final update. This is uh, this is in beta. So the final update will roll out this month. Uh, it's been expected on January 15th. That's the time for the S8 and uh, the Note 8. But yeah, I mean, the performance gains are insane. Let's launch Instagram. And as you can see that, okay, so the Exynos slash Nougat Galaxy Note 8 is um, load, has loaded up the feed faster, the latest feed. This one it, uh, has not refreshed for some reason, but you can see the difference there. Uh, both were pretty fast with actual opening up of application. We're gonna check my profile and about the same. This one got loaded a little bit quicker. Let's load this picture. Again, same result on both phones. And lastly, we're launching the cameras at the same time. Let's go. And about the same on both phones, no difference there. Now time for the browsing action. So first up we have is WWE.com. And uh, let's see which Galaxy will be faster. So, okay, both are pretty similar in this website test. Uh, and I think the 
both are at the end. The Oreo Galaxy Note 8 is finished, by the way. And this one also finished about the same. So you can see scrolling looks pretty smooth on both phones. No issues whatsoever. Next up, we have wikipedia.org. And let's see. Okay, so this time the Exynos NuGet Galaxy Note 8 was clearly faster. Uh, but really slight difference there. So moving on to the RAM management. Now, this is where we'll see... Uh, the awesome stuff uh, because I've seen the Galaxy Note 8 with NuGet struggling a little bit. Uh, but let's see. Okay, phone dialer. You can see still there in the memory on both phones. Got 6 gigs of RAM. So that is something incredible for multitasking. Back to the Subway Surfer. SoundCloud. Snapchat. Pinout. Spotify. Smash Hit. Okay, everything is still there. Back to Alto Game. And that's also there. So all four games were kept in the memory. Back to the Instagram. And we're back to the Samsung Internet Browser. So top-notch performance on both phones. Not a single refresh. But overall, the win definitely goes to the NuGet-powered Galaxy Note 8. It was faster in terms of booting up. It was also clearly faster in loading up of games and some other apps as well. So you have a lot of improvement here uh, with the Oreo. So I can't wait to test out the official final update, which we'll be releasing pretty soon for the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy S8 family. And after that, of course, we'll see that update to the last year's Galaxy S7 phones. I really want them to get the update as soon as well so that we can do our testing because they are still pretty good phones. And I might do an updated review for 2018 if you really want to you know, buy them or not. So if you are interested in that, then let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, this is the Oreo Gains and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.